Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog. I'm here outside my house and we are on another racing vlog and we are basically doing some changes to the Civic or much needed changes, improvements or maintenance I suppose. We are putting a new, well not new, but a second hand uprated um, revised uh, steering rack onto the Civic uh, race car. So I'll, I'm going to basically show you through some of how to do it, even though obviously I've got the gloves on looking like I'm doing loads of work, but actually, you'll see Francois in the background, the main man, my race tech main man, um, starting the, the job. So yeah, we're putting a new upgraded steering rack because my one, my standard one has got loads and loads of play. It's probably been on there since the life of the car, so it needs replacing. So we're gonna do that before my last race of the season in my championship, which is Donington. So yeah, watch on. We'll try and get you some little videos of kind of how to and whatnot, but yeah, watch on. So we are starting to attack the uh, attack the rack. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, yeah. we're taking the uh, heater matrix pipes off, okay. tuck them in down here, and then just taking this heat shield off here and mm -hmm. further back here, so we can get the um, support strut out, mm -hmm. and then we can get access to these two big Nuts. bolts, bolts yeah. that um, bolts to the rack and then there will be that nut down there two bolts back there and then on the inside disconnect it from the steering and then hopefully we should just slide it out this way slide it out <laughs> five minute job <laughs> yeah. nah not too bad it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too bad we're going well so we're uh, we're cracking on and uh, yeah, we'll let you know how we get on with the rest of it. All right, and also when you do this, make sure you're patient and make sure that your bolt or your nut fits on the socket properly before you try and undo it. Because if you strip around the head of the bolt, you'll make yourself some extra work. So just make sure that you try and clean the head of the bolt or the nut up, get the socket on there properly, maybe give it a little tap Make sure it's on there and then just crack it off gently. So we've now got this strut brace out. Mine's looking a little bit rusty, but I'm going to give it a little bit of a clean up and before I put it back on. Um, it's not, you know, you're not going to see that to be fair, but I, I would, you know, I'm still going to give it a little bit of clean up anyway. And uh, yeah, get that off and then you can get to, or we'll go on to the next stage. Oh, and just a quick note. Well, well, note if you're doing it. My car obviously is a race car and there's loads of bits stripped out of it so it's a lot easier to get access to the uh, steering rack and all the other little bits that have got to come off. If you're doing it on a standard car or a car that's got a lot of standard ancillary parts on it, it's going to be a lot harder of a job so you're going to need to take off a lot more bits to get the access that we've got here. So um, yeah, just wanted to let you know of that just before you kind of start having a go at me in the comment section. But yeah. So if you have a little look here, I'm just cleaning up the... The little cross brace or a strut brace. I've uh, just basically given it a clean with some penetrating cleaner, penetrating grease and oil. And uh, obviously, because it's rusty, it's probably quite good for it. I'm just going to rub it with uh, kitchen towel as well. It's just giving it a bit of a clean up, really, more than anything. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I've given that strut brace a good old clean up and I've dried it all out as well. And if you'll see, it, obviously, you can see a lot of rust. But in general, that looks a lot nicer than you would have seen it before. So I'm going to let that, well, I'm basically towel drying it. Um, so it's really, really dry. And then actually I've decided I'm going to, before, well, quite quickly, it's, it's quite sunny today, but obviously give it plenty of time to uh, dry. I'm going to give it some of this, um, a slip spray, just make it look a little bit nicer again. It will stop. And it's not the right way to do things. Obviously, it's going to spray over. I'm going to spray over some of the rust. But what it will do is it will just stop some of the oxidisation. But obviously, that's going to be internal, so it's going to still rust away and perish. But for a little while, that's going to make it look a lot nicer more than anything. Stop a little bit of oxidisation and crap getting into it for a, maybe a couple more years, and this will probably be replaced by something else. Um, but yeah, the car's not going to anyone else. It's going to be my car, so I'm not worried about that at the moment but it will look a lot nicer so yeah can do that now if we take a look at this now this is all sprayed looks quite good it's also a little bit of um a 
good as we can over a, little, a bit, of the, bit of the rust and whatnot. But yeah, no, looking a lot better. He's disconnected now and we're just obviously trying to look for clearance and space because we, we've, we're having to, at the moment, probably leave these on because they're proving really, really hard to get off. So we're going to try and um, see and make some space somehow, maybe take it through down there where the arch is there. We've, we've actually just seen so you know as well, we've got it on. We've decided we to take the uh, wheels off and get it jack jacked up. We're going to take it, probably try and take down that arch and then angle it up this way and take it out Trying, this way. Yeah. But yeah, we're, um, we're getting there. We've taken everything off and we've cleared the space. We've uh, rotated this so the arm here is uh, facing in as much as it can. And we're going to try and go out of this archway if we can. We've taken off the pump on the rack so there's a lot more space available for us to kind of get this through so hopefully we can get this through so we're going to give it a go let's see what you do to manage to get it out of the arch there but you do need to really really take care don't you know absolutely yank it out and rip it out but yep we've um taken obviously a few bits off um but yeah it's all off so we're gonna take the, these little arms off um and then put them onto the a new pump and put the new the new pump the new rack and uh, get that in and on but yeah it's not an it's not an easy job it's not a massive job but it's um it's hard enough but we're getting there you probably see that we've removed um the drumsticks from the uh the rack and we're just going to obviously put them on there but we're not going to put them on there now actually we're going to put this rack and um, we'll put the new sorry put the new rack into the car first then we're going to start putting bits on slowly but surely bit by bit because it'll be easier um, we had to use just so you know as well we had to use a vice to get these uh, nuts um, separated and, and off so um, it's a lot easier if you've got a vice a nice big vice to get a socket or um, something on a spanner on or whatnot and um, yeah we're ready to rock and roll we get the new rack uprated rack on with all the other little bits and yeah we're ready to rock so and roll. we're all clear and ready to put the new facelift rack in so we're going to go go ahead and do something because it's kind of essentially almost like a two-man job you probably could do it on your own but it'd be awkward um we have just got we're going to explain to you how we've kind of done it so we've we've come up from the top and we've actually taken the back end of it over here and then dropped in this side of the rack then down here and we're then kind of while it's still being up in that orientation i hope i'm explaining myself i've gone through the back through the arch so we're kind of pulling it this way and then lowering the back the other side of it this way and then basically going that way i hope that explains it properly but you'll probably see when you're trying to do it yourself if i'm honest there's only kind of i wouldn't say there's only one way but there's there's a better way and you'll always know what the better way is i suppose trial and error but that's what we've done we put the rack in from the top kept that side so the left hand side from where we're viewing it up pitched in down towards this arch so the right hand side viewing from where we are of the rack goes down into the arch then you can lower the back side or left hand side what we're facing down lower and then across to the left and then you should be able to start making it avoid everything and then putting it back in situ roughly where it needs to be so that's the best way we're now going to start getting the drumsticks and all the other little bits on obviously the pump part is still on top of it at the moment which is great we didn't need to take that off so yeah we will crack on we're just starting the bolt bolt and the bro bolt and everything back on doing everything up so the rack is basically back on doing it all up just check on the inside and make sure that's uh, and checking up checking in the inside to see if it's all lined up you probably quite can't quite see that but yeah So the heat shield is back on, the strut brace is now back on, looking a lot cleaner and uh, more blacker than rusty. <laughs> but yeah, all is going fairly well. So far so good. Right, so the rack is in and we're just now about to test for play. Um, I, I should have done a before and after, but basically when you used to uh, wiggle the, um, the, uh, hub. The, the hub, essentially, you, you used to get kind of that kind of movement, didn't you? Probably from... Yeah there to there if you can see with my hand is you'd get you'd get basically this kind of 
rotating that movement in in the rack so the rack had immense play and if you do it again francois this is now the, the, the new upgrade if you have a look up in there in the rack okay from the top, yep. go for it. up in here is where the play usually is yeah and if you have a look in there now there's hardly yeah you can any barely see whatsoever. it they will be a little bit but so yeah we're really sort of. pleased that's, that's amazing so yeah good result guys and that's obviously what we wanted to see so with the new uh, rack it's going to mean i'm probably going to go two or three seconds a lap quicker when i go to my next race now nah, i'm only joking but it should make a really really good bit of difference to um the way the kind of car and myself transitions with the car the steering feel and input through my you know through the steering wheel and through my fingers should be a lot more accurate so it can equate to hopefully a more accurate more nice feel from the front end so it should mean um, there's there can be time found with with uh, you know the rack being good so um, yeah fingers crossed I'd like to think that will definitely make you a little bit quicker it's not going to be seconds but it could be tenths hundredths which are really if not maybe more but certainly a good deal of difference um, you know bits that certainly could make the difference between one or two places in in a race and you know it's obviously very important because the, the the play was so severe and the fe the feel and the feedback through the steering was getting really really bad so um i had that like that all season so uh, yeah about time we changed it and uh, really good results i'm really pleased so everything is all on buttoned up obviously like as we said the steering feel um or the so the uh, play is definitely gone so the steering feels really really good everything's all connected and straight and true so uh, yeah we're gonna get the car back down on the ground and then we're gonna go for a quick little test drive to see make sure everything feels as it should and not untoward and uh, yeah that will be it right so that is everything done uh, I've been out in the car had a little test uh, drive of it and um, it feels absolutely superb and um, one thing apparently that some people said a differential uh, or differences between uh, an uprated rack and a, and a standard rack on the um, EP3 is the uprated rack has a, a lighter feel to it um, I would agree however obviously the the fact that I've got sharpness back in the rack um, is much much nicer anyway and it's definitely meant to be a stronger rack as well so get an uprated rack on those if you're starting to have wear on your standard EP3 um, steering rack because um, the uprated one is much much better much stronger and um, yeah it feels lovely now so um, just would be nice if it had a little bit more steering uh, feel and feedback and also it'd be nice if the lock to lock ratio is better but standard um, EP3s uh, that's the way they are so you have to make do but going to be much better much sharper um, nice steering inputs through the steering wheel now uh, thanks to the uprated steering rack so anyway that's the end of our video as always guys like share comment subscribe we'll see you again in the next one Bye for now.